Hi there, I'm Hafiz and welcome to Let's Fix on Lefitra Productions. Today we'll be fixing Moto Racer. Now this game is pretty tricky but you can get it running up in no time as long you follow my steps. So forget about installing through the auto run, it will never go through. So what you need to do is actually to click on the link below in the description and it will lead you to this page on my OneDrive. Look for Uni Extract 161. Right click on it and click on download. Once you download that, you're going to be given this file, a setup file. Now this is just a basically something that you install and once you get the motor racer fixed, you can uninstall it, okay? So it's just 12 megabytes. So just click on next, next, next and next. On this section, click on create a desktop icon. Click on that option, okay? And click on next. Don't worry, this is spyware, adware, malware free. I've tested it, okay? Um, so once you have done that, you launch the universal extractor that you just installed and you're gonna see this small box okay within this box um, there are two tabs on top and below on top you just click on this tab click on that and browse through your cd-rom all right your motor racer disk and look for disk one so double click on that and look for data and just double click on that it's that simple on the destination directory you select the second tab over here all right and choose the directory where you want to install the game okay um, I'm gonna install it on games and moto all right this is where I'm gonna extract the file or if you want somewhere else just click uh, make a new folder I'm sure you guys know the basic of this so click on OK and select the first option i3 com extraction and click on OK and let it run so while waiting for this we can also download you can also start downloading the second link that i gave you in the description that will lead you to this portion for motor racer fix right click on that and click on download and after that you'll be given this motor racer fix dot rar file so open that with a winrar and there will be two files inside extract the two files out all right so I personally created this batch file so that you can run the game with no issue. You'll see in a minute. All right. <clears throat> so once everything is extracted out from the disk, just double check. Go to wherever you extract the games. Um, for me, it's games, modo. And here it is. All right. So bear in mind, you still need the CD-ROM to be inserted in order to play with music. Okay. So with the two files that you extracted early on, under the motor racer fix rar file just put it in there and replace it and you're done but to launch um, you launch under the batch file okay just before you start launching don't get too excited double click on the moto exe go to properties go to compatibility and make sure that the color mode is set to 16 bit all right if it's not if it's not checked check it and change it to 16 bit just like that all right, click on apply and OK. So this motor racer batch file, I've created this on my own. And it's basically the best settings that I can get to play the game at smooth frame rates for 60 frame and without lag and without any graphic corruptions and things like that. All right. So give me credits for this if you want to just by subscribing my channel. All right. So here we go. We're going to test by launching on the batch file. All right, you're gonna see a black screen again if you don't have the disc there won't be any music inside so next the Delphine software logo appears and you're gonna get the full d3d version okay all right so names whatever names you want we're just gonna test this okay and go under options to see the d3d is as long as it's um, filtered all right I find that this is the nicest and click on the set um, that's the most important thing I think you guys are very concerned about, right? Um, other than that, it's not an issue. You can also turn the D3D to on if you don't want it to be filtered. So just test um, one track and start. So the loading will take quite a while. I'm not really sure why, but it's okay. It's not really that a big deal. There you go. So I'm holding my microphone with one hand. Unfortunately, I cannot do a wheelie because the wheelie by default is space bar, right? I think so I don't know so don't call me a noob or whatever all right I'm very good at this game in fact if you don't know but this is just for testing <laughs> well 
that shows how good am I, right? Alright, so there you go. We're just gonna escape, and as you can see, the fonts are all okay. And just gonna press Q to quit the race. And we're now gonna take you back to the main menu and press escape. Oh, I can't press escape from here. Yeah, that shows how good am I with the game. Alright, but I'm good at fixing stuff, right? So exit it. Of course, you gotta agree with me. So that's it, guys. Um, first of all, install the Universal Extractor based on the first link, and then extract the game files using it. So just browse to your CD-ROM and look for this one in data, and then after that, select to whichever directory you want it to be installed. Next up, you download the second link that I give you, which is this Motor Racer Fix. Extract the two files out and replace whatever files to where you extract the original game. That's it, you're done. But bear in mind again, you need the original disk to extract the files manually using the universal extractor. Now I hope this fix helps you, helps you know all of you who wants to play the game or if there is a GOG version out there, you can also download it at quite a very cheap price. But if you have the original disk, you know why you want to have a something, I um, mean why you want to buy something else, right? I mean like it's the same so for those of you who own the original this this is the way for you to play motor racer so thank you once again for checking out let's fix on the feature productions i'll see you guys around